Hello everybody, this is Patrick for One Stop Tech. Today we're going to look at the Stylus 2 Plus T-Mobile variant. Now, this is an upgrade from the other Stylo, Stylo 2. Key features, upgrade of the screen from 720p to 1080p, and they put some more memory in this. Let's get into this thing with my giant unboxing knife. We got the phone. Got a nice pattern to it. Very thin. Has gold accents. This is like a dark brownish color. Looks pretty cool. Reminds me of the old style note. On the bottom you got charge port. You got microphone. You got your headphone jack. And on the top, let me see if you can see that. You have your microphone and you have your stylus. Let's pull this out and check it out. Mm. Nice. Aluminum, plastic top. Pretty thin. And on this side, you don't have anything. Here you got your camera, you got your flash, this is the fingerprint sensor, and you got your up and down rocker. Alright, let's put that to the side. I imagine there's hardly any accessories because this is a mid-range budget phone. LG charger. Charge cable. Battery. This is 29 milliamps, 2900 milliamps. This is um, slightly smaller than the last LG battery for this regular Stylo 2. I'm going to turn this on. This is a overview slash unboxing. I don't just like to do unboxings alone. I can kill two birds with one stone. I'm not gonna put a sim in just yet, so let's see how it goes. They change a decent amount of things about this this phone to upgrade it. It's got a decent feel to it too. I mean it doesn't feel like a cheap phone. I mean compared to the Galaxy S7 Edge. It's about a couple steps down but it's not bad at all. Yeah, same dimensions, so fits the same cases. It's one gram heavier. The regular stylus two cases fit perfectly. New Plus variant came out one month later, which is just ridiculous, even for the smartphone market. Okay, let's go over the key features. It has a 1080p screen instead of a 720p screen. It's covered in Gorilla Glass 3. The stylus has a nano covered tip. It feels pretty good when drawing. Um, I mean, there's slight uh, resistance. It feels like an actual pen. Uh, this version comes with Android 6.0.1.
um, they added a fingerprint sensor, which is great. The processor gets a step up from the Snapdragon 410 to a quad core 430 octa core. It's running at 1.6 gigahertz. You also get the Adreno 505. Now, compared to the original Stylo 2, they got a Adreno 306 graphics processor, so you're going to be able to do some uh, pretty decent gaming. Internal memory stays the same at 16 gigs in the T Mobile variant. The RAM has been boosted up from 1.5 gigabytes to 2 gigabytes, which is great. Rear camera stays the same at 13 megapixels. In the front, there might be a downgrade for certain markets, but this is the T Mobile variant, the Stylus 2 Plus. It's got a 5 megapixel camera. Some markets they have an 8 megapixel camera. Oh well, you can't have it all. The pen gets improvements from the regular rubber to a nano coated pen tip. It has a really nice resistance though. As you can see, uh, it's pretty good to write on. With the new model, you also see the addition of a compass. Which I freaking love. Because I'm always lost in downtown Manhattan. Uh, here's a close-up of the nano um, tip and here's some comparison screenshots of the Galaxy S7 Edge and the LG Stylus 2 Plus and I'm going to show some photograph samples of the LG Stylus 2 Plus first and the pics that come after that are the Galaxy S7 Edge just for a comparison so you can see um, flagship versus medium I think it does pretty good in, um, in good lighting now low lighting is not even worth putting on here it's, uh, it's pretty crappy in low light Yeah, the phone pretty much surprised me with the 13 megapixel rear camera, I have to say. Uh, but every phone is not perfect. This phone has a few downsides. The front cam, it just doesn't focus well at all. And also that tinny distorted back speaker is just uh, unbelievable. <laughs> but if you can get over those humps, then this is a fantastic phone. You know, every phone isn't perfect anyway. Well, this is Patrick signing off from One Stop Tech. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.